Hi Dennis and Pat and whoever else is watching this video. This is Tom Elmore, founder of the GeoNav Group, a 3D LiDAR scanning and mapping company. And what we're looking at here is the main site at America Stonehenge. I recently scanned this and am pleased to be able to put together this short video to show what the 3D LiDAR scan looks like of the site. What's great about the scanner and the, the software that I have, I have the capability of classifying the trees and turning them off because this is quite a wooded site and it masks a lot of the ancient stone structures, megalithic structures. So let me take a second here, turn the trees off and give you a tour. So what I'm calling the main site is the area up on the hill that's fenced in. Down at the bottom of the screen is the uh, entrance into the site. And there's also an entrance the upper right hand corner by the uh, watchtower, the overlook tower there. But what I wanted to do was uh, give you an indication of what the site looks like. 3D LiDAR. The scanner captures 300,000 points per second with an accuracy of one to three centimeters. And what you're seeing on the screen is uh, the points populating and that's just what the software does so it can handle the large sets of data that are collected. So I've recently have finished scanning and capturing the entire site. This is just the main site. And um, in a little while, I'll put together, register all the scans together into a single project and be able to show the equinoxes and the solstices in relationship to the entire site. But today's video is just on the main site. And for those of you who are familiar with this, uh, I think you're going to be pretty impressed with the capture capabilities of the scanner. I know everybody's going to want to be looking at and seeing something different. Uh, this is just a short little video to show Dennis and Pat uh, what their site looks like without the trees. And in a couple of months, I'll have everything put together for them. But what I can also do is some cross sections here go through the tablet and do a cross section of that. So what's really great about this software is once everything is captured, uh, we can do any type of cross section we so desire. Everything is to scale in relationship to one another. <clears throat> we have been working with Radar Solutions International, a ground penetrating radar company out of Waltham, Massachusetts, and come up and do some of their work on the site, as well as to provide us GPS coordinates so that we'll be able to tie our scan into uh, the state datum.
in addition to the cross sections that I just showed you, I want to show you some of the level of detail that the scanner can capture and that the software can show. So I've just turned on my cursor so that we can uh, point out some things. And so we're going to set up another cross section here. And during our visits here, Dennis pointed out to us the earthquake fault line. And I wanted to take a second here to show you where the fault line is on the site. And so for uh, new visitors, they can come look at it. For people that are familiar with the site, they'll know where it is. But it's this line here, and it runs up and over the hill. Uh, and so for now, what I want to do is to just show you what it looks like on the main site. So it's this line right here. And by changing from RGB, which is color mode, into black and white mode, adjust the settings. We're going to turn up the transparency. And so the fault line is this line right through here. And it's absolutely amazing uh, when somebody points it out to you on your first visit to see uh, how really obvious the, the crack in the rock is. Uh, but what I wanted to show you was that, so we can capture and illustrate the big features, but up in this area, the fault line is a little more subtle, but you can see the shadowing here. And as I turn it in this direction, you can see where it is right here. And so this has moved down, this area has moved up, and it is just, just incredible. So not only does it exist on the site, but we are able to uh, capture and illustrate that level of detail. So we go back, set this back up, and we will continue our video. So that's it for now. Dennis, I hope you're pleased with it. I'm really pleased with the way everything came together. And we're going to have some impressive stuff to share with you in the very near future. So again, this is Tom Elmore. 3D LiDAR scan of the main site at America Stonehenge. And I hope you enjoyed this short video.